everybody. I've got no great qualifications or knowledge or campaigning track record to be here today. But I turned up and they said, would I speak? Suppose you dropped in here from Mars or somewhere onto this planet and you came down and you landed in Switzerland. And what would you find in Switzerland? You'd find four or five different nationalities and traditions living in perfect harmony. Everything organized in a democratic, reasonable way with rights for everybody. What's so difficult about that? What makes it so impossible that in that little tiny place called Palestine, that somehow it's impossible for two people to live in some sort of harmony? I believe it's perfectly possible, and that's what we've been working for. Whether it's two states or one state, there can be democratic human rights for everybody in that small community. The trouble is that many of us suffer from a guilt complex, certainly at my age. My wife's great aunt was tipped up in a Berlin suburb in 1942, put in a carriage, a railway carriage, taken five days and five nights without water or food of any sort, and then bundled into a gas chamber. That memory, that memory is something that inspires people in the wrong direction. We have all had terrible sufferings in history, all of us, but we have actually to overcome that and start to live like human beings together. I believe it's perfectly possible, and I think there are many, many, many Jewish people, Jews for justice for one, many Jewish people who know this perfectly well. To be a Jew is not to be a Zionist. That's a different qualification. It's not to be a Zionist. Let us work together for peace for all the communities in Palestine living in justice in this small planet that God's given us. Thank you very much. Well